I think that the main thing that keeps me most organized would have to be this hybrid note binder that I showed you guys in my haul. Um, I actually got the exact same one as I did last year and I've already emptied everything out from last year except like a few things that weren't schoolwork related. So first of all though, I'm going to show you guys kind of the structure of this um, binder. I guess I'll just use this one that doesn't have the little thing on it. Um, okay, so this is a one inch binder. So these rings are one inch. And I think that having a small binder is probably the main thing that keeps me organized because you will notice that this cannot hold that many papers and that actually is a really good thing if you're trying to stay really organized. So basically all the papers that you have in here are essential papers that you need. So I kind of wrote down like a list of what I found to be in my binder throughout the year because this is so small and it doesn't hold that many papers. Um, so the only things that should be in your binder are immediate homework, long-term project papers, unit or chapter notes, not like from two units ago, just immediate unit or chapter notes, um, guides and sheets that you use often. Also what I really like about this structure that I think I mentioned in my last video is that the rings are on the outside, so if you have a pencil holder like I did, I just attach my pencil holder onto these rings outside and it doesn't really, um, you don't really have to compromise any space just because it's on the outside which is really nice. So, going on into the inside of the binder, I feel like this is the first page that you see, or the first thing that you see when you open your binder. So I kind of made this like the important page, or my inspiration divider kind of thing. It's kind of just a very personal part of my binder, if that's possible. This contains um, basically priorities, or important things, or inspiration for me. Okay, so one thing that I found really helpful was to have sticky notes, and I actually got some in my haul. So I have sticky notes, and this just says Spanish IB 4 slash 5, period 4, because I, I did that at the end of the year because I was trying to sign up for my Spanish class for the next year. So this is kind of like just a long-term to-do list. And what really inspires me to kind of work harder and get good grades is seeing my transcript. So I have a copy of my transcript in here. Um, but I'm not going to show you guys just because it has like personal information and stuff. And then I have a fine slip right here. And then I also have my key club manual thing. And also what I found to be kind of inspiration was this card that my grandparents gave me for my birthday. Um, you have so much going for you and we enjoy everything about you from your sharp mind to your bright spirit to your good heart. So while I was in school um, in the month of January, I really felt this um, motivated me to work hard and keep doing my schoolwork and stuff, so I just threw it in here. And then I have my counselor's junior checklist from last year. So basically, you guys can tell that I keep all of kind of motivational stuff and also important extracurricular like clubs kind of thing and then sticky notes and I also keep my index cards in there. So that is what I keep in this very first divider. This was a new thing as of last year because usually I just kept my schoolwork in there. But then I found that I would always want some type of thing, some type of place to keep all these types of things when I was in my sophomore year. So I just designated a um, divider to it and it worked really well. So the next things that you have are your subject dividers. So the only thing, as I already said, that should be in these dividers is your immediate homework, long-term projects, guides, um, notes for the chapter that you're currently on, and um, papers or reference sheets that you use pretty often. And I'm sure that I'm missing some things, but basically you guys get the gist. There's only supposed to be the bare minimum in your binder. And that keeps me really, really organized and I think that the less papers that I have in my binder makes me feel a little less overwhelmed for the work that I have to do and um, I don't know, it's just a really good system, it keeps you really organized and you only have the most important things in your binder. If you don't like this binder because of the rings, because you're used to pulling paper out um, after you just push down the rings and then it opens, they all open at the same time, and then take your paper out because you don't like to rip your paper. I have made a solution for that, and you can also use this for the typical open-close three-ring binders. Um, so what I did was I took a page protector, cut a slit that was like half of an inch long, but since, um, since then it kind of 
tore more, which is fine. So I would actually cut it up to here. And then I put a sticker to try to save it from tearing some more. And then it's really, really, really easy to just kind of get your finger and then take out a piece of paper. And it's actually a lot easier and less work than opening the um, typical three ring binder anyways. So that is my solution for the whole paper thing because this binder actually comes with a bunch of paper in the back and I just found it really hard and kind of annoying to have to undo every single little ring binder or binder ring so I really liked my little solution that I thought up so if you only have important things in your binder you may be wondering where you put your past back papers or tests or something like that and I personally keep those things in expanding folders or files like these and I think these are really really useful you should definitely definitely keep all of the pass back work thwork pass back work that you get from your teachers for a number of reasons um, the first reason is that they make really good reference sheets for example my calculus teacher used um, or recycled questions from our chapter tests throughout the year for our final so basically if you had studied from those chapter tests that you took throughout the year you would be really prepared for the finals and you also might have to reference old material if you're learning new material and you forget or something basically they're just really important for references also I found it really really important to keep your old pass back papers that are already graded um, that's important because sometimes they're grading system might fail so they might like lose the grades that they give you or they might enter it wrong in the computer and you have to go and prove that your grade was different um, or better or something like that. That's happened a few times so I would definitely recommend keeping your schoolwork if you want to stay on top of grades and everything. I will just show you guys what um, my expanding folder looks like at the end of the year. So here is all of my work from the school year and as you can tell um, you want to try to find an expanding folder that's just fatter. It doesn't matter about how many subjects it can hold. Yeah, so this weighs a lot and that is what it looks like at the end of the year. And I have every single paper that I handed back, um, every single short story that I had to read and all that stuff in there um, by subject. So I don't know why I've been doing goals lately in some of my videos, like I've done it for like my last two videos, but I think it's pretty useful to have goals in life. So I'm just going to make some goals for your binder. The first goal is to keep it compact. You don't want a lot of clutter. Um, clutter kind of is overwhelming, especially when it's just a bunch of random papers. Number two is to keep it updated. You don't want to have old assignments in there that you don't need anymore. You want to put those assignments somewhere else. And number three, you should make your binder the central location for everything school related. I know that some people have like a binder for each subject that they have and that probably works for some people but I just find that to be like a lot to keep track of and a lot to carry around and if I want to go do my homework like at the library I just want to carry around one binder and then my textbooks I don't want to have to carry around like seven notebooks or like one notebook for each subject and then like all of my textbooks so it is whatever works for you but I find that having everything compact and in one central location and everything updated is just a lot easier so the other major thing that really keeps you organized in high school I think is um, a planner and I didn't get a planner for this year because I haven't found one that I like I really liked this planner but they always update it every year and they make it different and I just don't like when they change it um, so I'm still looking for mine but I personally like the planners that have a calendar, a monthly calendar, and then a week long kind of thing with lots of room for writing. So this is my calendar from last year. You guys can tell that I do use this a lot and you guys probably can't read it, but I just have everything on here for my monthly calendar. I have like my work schedule, events for Key Club, and then I have events like personal events like YouTube. I had the 17 Beauty Smarties showdown aired on the 23rd of last year um, so that's pretty neat and then I have like important deadlines and stuff. So having a planner along with this system of organized binder really helps because you go down to sit you go you sit down to go into your homework 
and then you see exactly what you have written for the day because I usually write in my planner whenever I'm bored or at the end of classes. I usually get bored in my classes at some point or another. So I have first math test tomorrow, study, um, review history notes for the possible quiz that's tomorrow, study for biology quiz tomorrow. So what I'll do is I'll sit down to start my homework, read what I have on my planner. Um, so for example, it's like historic investigation topic due Friday or um, read Rocking Horse Winner short story. So then I will go over to this binder, flip to that subject, and then I will have those exact assignments just right there because I only have the immediate assignments and homeworks. So that system really, 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 really works for me. It keeps me so organized. I've never had a problem where I've lost an assignment because I can't find it or um, anything like that. So. This system really works. I hope I explained it well enough, um, and I really think that's kind of it. Um, if you guys have any questions about the way that I organize my binder and my schoolwork, leave them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them as best I can. Let me know any requests that you have for back to school, if you guys want any, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!